quite a different start to today's show. Um, as you know, this morning is very much a family show. You often share parts of your lives with us and we share ours with you. And today, uh, Philip would like to share something with you. And to help him do that, he's here with his on-screen partner, but more importantly, his friend, Holly. So you may have just seen moments ago on your television set that my good friend and co-host Phil has issued this moving statement that I will read out for you, the viewers. Here we go. After my brother was jailed the other day for sexual crimes against children, it brought the heat on me big time, and after much reflection, I felt it only right to face up to the fact that I am gay. In this world, though, admitting such a fact as this is seen as courageous and brave thing to do, although not by my wife of 27 years. I truly hope the fact of me admitting that I am gay will completely overshadow the fact of my young underage boyfriend that I've been shagging in the studio for many years in between the We Buy Any Car adverts. My battle and struggle against who I really am has taken its toll on not just my amazing co-host, Holly, but also my wife and children and any other children that me and my brother accidentally finger banged. I have no option to step away from ITV for a while so the heat can die down a bit. I would like to say a huge thank you for supporting yet another covered up sexual predator scandal on morning TV. So, wow, Phil, that's some heartfelt perversion right there. I told you, didn't I? You should have worn the face nappy at Wimbledon. We might have been okay to line up with the British public at the Queen's funeral, but you couldn't be trusted not to touch people, could you? You would seriously better hope that Gordon the gopher keeps his furry mouth shut. <laughs> 